So this is water tier, the tier that really wasn't supposed to exist in the first place, but after a while I just felt like it had to be done. So this just came about because there were two characters in high tier and one character in mid tier, but then after looking at it I found all three were pretty similar, but it was kind of confusing because all three of them kind of fit into high and mid tier. And it was kind of hard to, to decide between them, so I just decided to make it tier in the middle and just say that's good enough. But even then, it's like, I feel like they could be mid or high tier. So, you can basically think of this as like a tier in between mid and high, but I don't know. It's more of like a, they're mid, in between mid and high, and high all at the same time. It's kind of a weird thing, I don't know. Anyways, the characters that are in water tier are, well, the three water characters that I haven't placed yet, which are Ruto, King Daphnis, and Marin. So, all three of them, they're basically really good, solid characters in general. The thing that holds them back is that they're a water element, and water element is really trash in this game. If they were basically any other element they would have just been put in high without a second thought they would be considered for mid but it's just water is that terrible that it can just ruin characters like that sadly so anyways just on to the first character which is rudo between all three characters rudo is kind of the middle one king daphnis is more speed focused and marin is more power focused while, yeah, Rudo is kind of fast and can put out quite a bit of damage. Um, but I'd say her main focus is zoning. Since combo 1, combo 6, both of those moves require you to actually zone properly. If you just do either of those moves like straight in the face of an enemy, then you're probably going to get hit. And that's kind of the thing about Rudo is that if you space stuff properly you will never get hit but if you just try to go in the face of everything and hit them then you're gonna take a lot of damage and she's not gonna be very fun to play of course you could also just spam combo three since that's immune to almost every attack in the game not quite every attack but almost every attack um <laughs> and then again giant bosses she just destroys all of them even without hasty attacks and since this is a hasty tier list that's just basically overkill um and for killing smaller enemies, uh, yeah, combo 6 is wonderful. <laughs> um, and I guess you could do combo 3 as well, that one's like okay as well. Um, and then 1v1, combo 2 to combo 6 is basically guaranteed. The only problem is if something is running up behind you and hits you because you can't stop the combo ever because then it's not combo anymore. But, um, so yeah, just be aware of that. And also in 1v1, the thing you need to do is be really far away and just spam combo 1 so whenever you have it full because that does a ton of damage and it just helps you space out so you don't take much damage either, which is just all around good. So King Daphnis is the second character here and he is crazy fast. That should be very apparent the first time you play him if you know that combo 1 makes him faster. Um, hasty on him really isn't optimal, but I do it anyways because I'm weird and want hasty on everything, so just ignore me. Um, so, King Daphnis. His weakest point is definitely giant bosses, as you will need a special to handle quite a few of them, while the other two characters can handle giant bosses pretty well, but just stockpile a few specials and then that's not really a problem at all. Um, for mobs, Basically, uh, combo four, six, both of those just take out entire keeps. So use those moves often. You can also use combo five, but that one's really slow. I don't really like that one as much. Um, for one v one, combos two and three are both launchers, and just combo six does like nice damage. Combo four just spreads out everything around you, so that you don't get hit as much. So if you just or like in a pack of like three Lizifos and you just need to combo four to just get them away from you and just say stop touching me um, and spread them out then that's a really good thing that you can do and then combo five, just can't make them combo five. Um, safety he's probably the safest of the three just because he's so fast that you're basically not gonna hit, get hit very often he doesn't have invincibility on anything but that's not really a problem for like you can attack like probably like four times a second so yeah you're fine with him 
Um, and also, like I said, a lot of his attacks hit around him, especially combo 4. Biggest worry for him is damage, which he just doesn't really put out enough of. But still, if you just keep hitting something, it'll die eventually. And I mean, they're not really going to be able to do anything to you, so I think that's fine. Just maybe time may be a little pressed, but also since you take care of taking keep so fast, then yeah, um, it's a really solid choice. So Marin's the third character in Water Tier, and she's more comparable to Rudo than King Daphnis as she does more damage and she's not as fast, kind of similar to Rudo. She has a clear aspect on spacing properly, but Marin kind of gets more in the face of enemies than Rudo, and also she just does more damage as well. So for clearing out keeps, combo 6 just destroys them, that's pretty easy. Combo 5 is pretty good as well. Um, for 1v1, combo 2 is like a kind of good launcher and you can kind of combo into other things, not that reliably though. Combo 1, if it's full, does a lot of damage but you have to space it properly. And you can also spam combo 6 to just keep whatever you're fighting away from you for the safest route possible for killing an enemy. But again, that might take a while to actually kill the enemy since it's combo 6 so you have to go through quite a bit of the chain and then combo 6 itself isn't really fast even with hasty. Against giant bosses, combo 5 does a ton of damage to giant bosses. So she's probably, she's in between uh, Rudo and Daphnis in that aspect. Uh, so yeah, that's very good. Safety is her biggest issue though. With how stationary she is when attacking. Combo 1, she stands completely still. Combo 2, she stands completely still. Combo 3, she kind of hops forward a little bit, but I mean, I wouldn't really call that movement. Combo 4, she actually kind of moves around a bit, and that's also her only attack you can dodge cancel. But combo 4 is probably her least useful move, so that's also kind of like... <laughs> Combo 5, she stands still. Combo 6, she stands still, so that's kind of a problem. So safety is definitely her biggest problem, and it's the biggest problem out of all three of these. She was the one that was originally in mid-tier, but I feel like she's just so solid at everything else, and if you do play safely enough, that she is definitely a high tier, and she can just dominate maps. It's just safety is the big thing you have to focus on when playing her. So I know people are going to ask, wait, which one's the best of the three? Because I know I said Daphnis in that one video, uh, like, a year ago. And who I think it still is. And really, it's just whichever one of these three you play best with. Again, like I said earlier, if it's you're playing on the Wii U version, hopefully that's Rudo. But yeah, I just feel like I personally do the best with Daphnis. And I think that was, like, kind of back then. I just thought he was better since I didn't really try Rudo that much. It's kind of just whatever you do best with. If you do best with Marin, then she's the best for you. Go for it. That's really all there is to it. So why Water actually just messes up these characters so bad is because Water is super effective against so few enemies. In the Wii U version, the captains, only Darunia and Volga are weak to Water. And Volga has no invincibility after recovering, so you can just infinite him with basically anything. So being weak to water isn't even that big of a deal for him. Darunia is like the only one that being weak to water actually means anything. And it, it's Darunia. How often do you actually see him? Which is kind of a problem. And then again, giant bosses. Only King Dodongo is weak to water. And King Dodongo is the easiest giant boss to take down for any character. I mean, I think the only character that can take down a giant boss other than King Dodongo, but not King Dodongo himself, is Darunia, if I remember correctly. There might be others. But yeah, King Dodongo, he stays down forever, so if they can take down any giant boss, it's basically going to be King Dodongo, so the water e effect doesn't really help in that sense either. And then the water bubbles around characters' heads. That can ruin combos, which is basically a huge problem for King Daphnis. So you want to try to avoid using moves that apply the water effects, like combo 3. Yeah, water is just really mediocre, and uh, it's 
I really wish it was better, but I mean, <laughs> no other element has like this many problems. Like the only other element with like problems is like lightning, if you put lightning plus on that weapon, but that's just a skill. Just don't use that skill at the end and then you're fixed. So eh, a lot of our characters, sad for him. Anyways, these three characters, they are the best water characters, but it's also kind of sad because every other element has a character or a weapon in top tier, but not water doesn't come close, sadly. So, that's about it. So, hopefully high tier, eh, that might take a while, but it shouldn't be like forever, I hope. So, eh, <laughs> try to do that as soon as possible. That's it for this video though, so bye.